Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard. So, uh, here is my very nice piece of uh, tree. Well, it was an actual tree. It wasn't even a piece of it. It was the tree. Uh, that I want to make a bow out of. Now, I wanted to go outside with a, an axe and a few pieces of rock and things of that nature and cut this all completely outside in in a manner that's much more bushcraft and much more primitive than what I'm about to do but uh, I will have plenty of time to practice that later part of survival part of not just surviving but living in a situation where you have to make do with what you have is not necessarily making do with less just to prove something to yourself uh, I don't have anything to prove to other people I don't have to prove a single thing to another individual uh, ever I, n I don't feel that way uh, I do sometimes feel like I need to prove something to myself, but uh, from the knives and other materials that I've been making in the last several months, I know that if placed in a situation when I have to make a bow or I choose to make a bow and I don't have equipment that I can do it, I know that. So I don't have anything to prove to myself. And I definitely don't have anything to prove to anybody else. So, uh, I don't know, we've, we've actually been in this garage. <laughs> uh, this, is the, this is the garage section of the garage that, that we're living in. Uh, we actually, you know, hold on a second and I'll show you. So. So this is the the garage area. It's a this is, whole thing is a four car garage. Uh, there's another section right over there that's part of the garage. But this right here, this wall, is actually the back end of our living space. So we are literally living in a garage. Uh, it has electricity, so we have space heaters. It does not have running water. Or bathroom facilities uh, and we avoid going in the house as much as possible but uh, I'm having a blast out here to be totally honest uh, anyway uh, I have marked a few spots on this uh, this probably is not going to turn into a uh, tutorial this is just going to be me doing it and uh, we'll see how it turns out and later on we'll do a tutorial with it uh, I'd like to do the tutorial when I'm actually outside and I'm using, you know, just as primitive items or, or survival items to actually make one of these. Uh, I have access to some equipment, not a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, as I was, yeah, as I was saying before, I think we've probably been in this garage for, I don't know, five, six months now. And I don't dig around in here because it's not my stuff. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't care if I did, but I don't. Uh, but sitting right here, right here, the whole time, was this. And I never noticed it until a few days ago. And there's even a whole thing of jigsaw blades right there. So, uh, I have it available to me. Survival is using what's available to you, so I am going to try to cut this into a bow using that jigsaw. Now, I've marked the handle. The handle is right here. This is going to be the handle part. And I've marked about the center all the way down. So what I'm just basically what I'm going to do is get the jigsaw. I'm going to cut in about halfway uh, on both sides where the handle will be, and then I will just cut long ways about halfway down the whole stick until I get a generalized bow shape. Now, 
I have a draw knife somewhere over there. Uh, it's it's buried. I don't have access to it right now. Uh, so uh, my philosophy is if you don't have access to it, you don't have it. So even though I have a draw knife in that mess somewhere and I kind of know where it's at, uh, I don't have access to it unless I go dig stuff out. And I really don't feel like doing that. So I don't have a draw knife. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this out to the best of my ability and I'll get back with you when I get this cut out. Yeah, I went to my dad's house and borrowed his jigsaw. Okay. Here's the last piece that came off. So now I have I have it cut down the middle with my handle. Now all I'm going to have to do, I'm going to end up having to pull out my draw knife. I'll uh, I'll dig it out. I'm just going to have to. Oh, look at that. But anyway, here it is. Of course, the top is bending better than the bottom because the bottom's thicker. But there we go. It's beginnings. Now, although this did take me a while to do, there we go. Uh, even though this took me a while to do, it would have probably taken me a lot longer to do with a with an axe and uh, some uh, rocks or whatever to to split this although if I had to do it out in the woods that way that's how I had to do it now as being a survivalist I use what I have available to me at the time that I have it I have access to electricity there's no reason not to use it I have access to this jigsaw at least for now no reason why I shouldn't use it. So what I'm going to have to do is break down and go over there through in that crap because I know where it's at. Well, I think I know where it's at. I'm pretty sure I know where it's at. And dig out a couple boxes that are way in the back, which also may give me access to uh, that bow that my cousin Mark gave me. So uh, if I dig that out, of course, we'll, we'll do some video on that. But anyway... Here is the beginnings of my uh, eh, semi-primitive. I mean, it's still a primitive bow. Just happened to use uh, a jigsaw to cut it out. So uh, I'm going to play around with this for a while. I'm definitely going to have to get some off of this here, the bottom part. I don't think I'm going to have to take very much off of this one up here because I think this one... Honestly, I, I think that bends just just fine for now. Uh, the wood or the the bark is staying on the back, and it's going to stay on the the whole handle. But anyway, there we go. There's the beginnings of my woodland Bentley's backwoods bushcraft bow, and we'll see how this works. And uh, I love how this kind of has the little. This is kind of bent here, and it's kind of Chris-like. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Chris. It's a Filipino uh, short sword, but it kind of has a, a wave to it. I really like that. So anyway, stop rambling, Richard, and continue on. Uh, that'll be it for right now. We'll continue later, 
and uh, I'll see you as a matter of fact for you guys it should be so I have uh, the bow uh, let you see my breath I have the bow cut down now there we go to generally where I want it now and where did I put it I, there we go I did dig out my draw knife so now I have one so now all I need to do is just work on drawing this down and uh, thinning it out a bit that's going to take some time so I'm not going to uh, film it all I'm just going to use my draw knife on here there we go and we're just going to draw draw knife this until I get it down to a manageable and bendable you know that helped a lot really <laughs> so uh, this is the part that I'm really going to need to work on this bottom part of the this will be the top part is a lot smaller and it has a nice a lot bigger bend to it than this one here so I'll work on that and then I'll get right back with you guys Oh yeah. Working fantastic. All right, so I have the uh, I have some cordage on it right now. I went ahead and cut some knocks on either end. I have this one already on. And I'm probably going to have to cut these knocks a little bit deeper, but right now I'm just kind of seeing where I'm at. And I'm going to give myself probably two or three inches from the bow make another knock or knot right here and this is where I'm going to see about whacking the mirror or whacking the uh, the lights all right so we're gonna step inside this here We're going to see if maybe I can get this on here. I think I'm going to have to do some more cutting, but it looks like I don't want to break it. There we go. And it's, it's in there. Okay okay so it's not nearly bent the way it needs to be bent right here is all right let me get a oh, that's good let's see here all right i'm gonna have to take some off right here let me get a larger view here i've just got the cordage on it just so that I can pull and I can see where I need to take some off and where I probably don't. I think some needs to come off right here for sure. So that's not too bad. I'm going to have to make my knocks up here a little better for sure. But I'm not concerned about that right now. Right now I'm just trying to feel Too bad though. Top is still pretty uh, thick. I think the bottom bottom is going to be okay right now. Yeah.
Oh yeah, right here is where it needs to come off. All right, so we just need to take off a little bit right here. So it's not 100% yet, but I'm really, really close with it. Uh, I have one of my PVC arrows that I made, and I am going to shoot it. And it's getting there. It's actually shooting, so we'll, uh, we'll continue to work on it. And we're getting close. We're getting close, everybody. All right, I don't have an actual string on it yet. I'm just using some uh, uh, fishing, uh, uh, yeah, trout line type stuff. I have this sitting right here underneath the camera and we are gonna shoot at that and we're gonna see if I can hit the target. It may be 10, 15 feet away, just to kind of get an idea about how the bow's working. Bow, and like I said, I'm using like trout line type stuff so we'll see we'll go about 15 feet all right and we'll see if we can't hey <laughs> it did it it stuck in uh, didn't have a lot of force it didn't have a lot of speed but uh, look at that it actually it went in there so, uh, like I said, right now I'm just using a piece of uh, bank line uh, to, uh, to work with this. I, I think right now, I think it's as good as, as I really am going to get it right now. Uh, I will be making some uh, uh, cordage for it, or maybe I'll just tighten this up so that I have to put a little more pressure on the bow. Uh, I don't expect a whole lot out of this. Uh, again, this is just really for my experience and just for me to play around to get the idea of it. Just in case I may have to one day do something like this, uh, then I'm one step ahead of people who don't do it. So uh, anyway, uh, I could easily do this out in the woods with just an axe and a knife. Uh, although I did not do that with this, I did use cutting tools here in the garage. But... Uh, I was just wanting to, uh, you know, save some time and effort with the axe and everything. I could do it with an axe. I know I can, so I'm good with that. Uh, so I don't think I've done too bad with this. This is uh, this is my very first attempt at a at a real bow, and uh, it's pretty primitive. You know, it's it's not uh, not the greatest thing in the world. Like I said, this isn't something that I, I can go out hunting with and and you know give to my kids and my grandkids and you know it it lasts you know several generations uh, but it doesn't need to be this is a, a more of a primitive hands-on just right now I need a bow to go hunting for a week or two and if I have to make another one in a, in, in a few weeks or a month or so then I have to make another one the cool thing about it is the more I make the better I get at them so uh, once this one either cracks, breaks, or no longer works well for me, uh, I'll just discard it. Use it as firewood or whatever else that uh, a bow drill. Uh, this would probably turn into a bow drill or something to that effect. And, uh, you know, move on, make it something else, move on to something, something better or something different. Uh, so anyway, that's my philosophy of it and uh, I think it is working well for me and I'd like to say thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard. <laughs>